Good evening YouTube. Now I don't do many videos and I'm not very good at videos. But here is a quick video in the style of River Huntingdon which uh, channel I've enjoyed very very much um, especially uh, his articles on um, Philips record players and other music centres. Unfortunately, uh, sadly there's no new content, so um, River, I do hope everything's okay with you. And it would be great if you could come on again and uh, show us some uh, more vintage electronics. Anyway, this is a Philips GF660 record player from the early to mid 70s. Um, my dad had this hidden away in a cupboard. I never knew, really knew much about it. He kept it quiet. He found it at a boot sale, I think, some time ago. Um, but I found it recently and tried it out. It essentially worked. And um, well, it had the single spindle in there originally, which is here, single play spindle. But uh, in that uh, hole there is the auto change spindle, which is an umbrella spindle. And it works perfectly. Now, after playing a stack of records, the left channel sounded very distorted. Um, it wasn't uh, a slider um, related problem, it needed switch cleaner. It was actually um, transistors. And I traced the problem in the left channel, BC149 and 147. Um, this electrolytic wasn't too good. It looked like it had been leaking as well. Now, if I heated up these two, with a hairdryer, the fault would show itself instantly. And obviously once I freeze it with some freezer spray, the fault was fine, it sounded fine. So change these two. Now the modern equivalent was a BC549 and 547. So I've changed, changed those over. So I've changed both those transistors and the electrolytic. And in the right channel, just to keep things balanced, obviously it's not a hi-fi unit, it's a lo-fi unit, but still, to keep things balanced, I've done exactly the same. And uh, here are the old um, transistors that come out. Funnily enough, the um, germanium um, output transistors are absolutely fine. Haven't yet developed the old Tim Whisker problem. But believe me, this is, when I say lo-fi, you know, it's not high-end, you know, it's not hi-fi, but the sound is amazing, it really is. Um, considering it's the standard Philips plug-in head shell, it's a ceramic cartridge, one-way speakers, but the sound is really nice and warm. They really knew how to make these budget things back in the day. These people now that buy these crappy Crosley cruisers and think they sound, they th and think that they think they sound good. They sound tinny. They sound shit. They need blowing up. But this is this is a really nice unit. I'm really pleased with it. Really pleased with it. Here we go. Watch the auto changer. Even got a mute function on the tone arm lift. You can change the um, tracking force. I haven't yet put it on a scale, but I would say it's um, no more than three grams. So I will replace the uh, flip stylus so it doesn't damage any records. But it's a nice, it's a nice deck. Really pleased with it. Um, I moved house about two months ago. And this is the third victim in my new workshop. So I've only just set up the workshop. Um, this is the third victim on the bench. I have, um, I'll show you in a little while. I've completed a, um, well, I'd say completed. I just need to change the playhead because it's a bit worn. A Sharp Music Center, an SG309. That's in my bedroom. Um, in that ITT box up there is an ultra record player from the early 70s but it's got one of those um, front loading car cassette decks but unfortunately the um, the idler the take the, the idler that drives a take-up table has gone to a goo it's the same arrangement as what's in these uh, sharp boom boxes whereas it's the sleeve that goes over the capstan that goes to goo that drives a take-up idler 
but in this Ultra, the sleeve on the capsule is actually a metal sleeve and the idler's gone to goo and it is an absolute sod to get out, but I'm gonna try and make a fudge with some, um, with some shrink sleeve. Anyway, while I'm at it, the speakers for it are in there. Lovely condition, lovely looking unit. Um, BSR turntable, which I've uh, reconditioned, you know, re-greased, you know, because obviously the old BSR grease goes to glue. Um, while we're here, projects to do. Ferguson Video Star. It's a linear stereo, not hi-fi stereo, it's a linear stereo. So that's one job. There's some Fred Krueger heads. Um, Panasonic Music Center. I had one of these when I was a boy. It was my dad's. Um, got a magnetic cartridge. It was damaged in transit by Hermes. Surprise, surprise. But it hasn't cost me anything because um, the seller refunded me. So I'm going to make the best job I can with that. Um, in that antiference box, which is upside down, is an Akai tuner. Nice uh, brushed aluminium front on that. Um, the matching amplifier is uh, in my home gym at the minute. There's a few others, uh, RGD record player, which is all done. There's a Fidelity Playmaster, some reel-to-reel -reel tapes, um, a uh, Garrard record deck. It's an RC54 to do. Um, a Riga um, turntable, which I need to replace the um, RCA cables for a friend of mine. Akai reel to reel cassette cassette deck, tape deck, Akai reel to reel tape deck, region tone radiogram, sharp VHSC camcorder, uh, Kumba educational tape recorder and PA system. Um, there's a Chucky, that's put up there to keep the uh, keep the visitors away. Um, shortwave radio, that's fine. There's a that's one of my working DC six C. That's my usual everyday one. If I do decide I want to go out and take it on the train or something, not when I'm driving a train, but when I'm pass, um, I don't do phones. I only do proper audio. Um, GF ninety one ninety one. That was in one of my previous videos. It's all done. Um, behind that, Philips boombox, moving sound boombox. Always wanted that model when I was a kid. Um, that's a to-do. I might put a Bluetooth module in that as well. Put that in the kitchen so the other half can play music on it as well. Because um, the other half doesn't do uh, real music like me. Uh, tapes and things. Still does phones. But yeah, that'll be a good all-rounder. Um, probably replace, upgrade the speakers in it like I did in the... Um, if you look on my channel, I've done a Philips Le Cube. Upgraded the speakers and give it a good paint job. Tapes, tapes, tapes. Uh, Sharp GF 90, 90 to do. Uh, Hitachi single speaker jobby and a Philips, um, and your cheapy. Um, so they're both serviced. And there's a Panasonic's um, auto reverse boombox. Change of belts in it, but still a lot of wow and flutter. I think it's the cheap and nasty capstans. One's got a slight warp on it. I just use it as a test amplifier because there's the speakers there. Um, yeah, that's all the te all the uh, equipment on the shelf. Uh, London Underground Mirror. Had that for quite a while. It was a birthday present. Um, some more spares. There's some shelf space to fill up with um, more vintage junk when I can get hold of it, or when my dad finds more at the boot sale. He's found me a, a, a Panasonic um, boombox with a built-in slide-out record player. So. Eight quid he paid for that, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting that. Um, I'm going to stand the Philips record player on top of that um, when it's done, because I'll probably keep it in here. I will go and show you my music centre now. It's in the bedroom. It's it say it's it was done. I had it in my previous house. Um, everything had to be done on it, and I got the spares. And obviously, I had to put it on hold until I moved. Um, forgive the orange. Uh, light as my retro 1970s light um, okay the only thing I need to do to the music center now is to just change over the playhead because it's a slight groove in it so um, 
the top end isn't as uh, good as what it should be. The dial lights needed changing, so that it's had new dial lamps, obviously new belts, um, and the usual sharp capstan sleeve gone to goo, so that's been done. Um, changed the crappy self-regulating motor to a more modern um, motor, so it's had a new motor in there. Record deck, service that. New car, new, new stylus rather. It's a ceramic stylus, tracks at six grams, but it sounds really good. Uh, what I have done, believe it or not, these tone arms, you can't adjust this. This is just plastic. This is just part of the tone arm assembly. This wasn't a particularly high end unit, but this is hollow. So I've pushed blue tack in here and now reduce the tracking force to three grams and it sounds absolutely fine at three grams so no chance of it damaging your records and I'll play some of my best records on this. There's a slight rumble, obviously it's idler drive, there's a slight rumble but the idler is supple, um, the motor mountings are nice and supple so I just put it down so that's the way it was because nothing else that uh, could possibly be causing it so it's just the, probably the way the thing was designed but um, I'll give you a quick, um, give you a quick I don't know what that is, I think that's just... Speakers are inside the wardrobe, and it's very untidy. I've actually got two pairs of sharp speakers, a big set and a smaller set with the different um, logos on them. The smaller set has got goes with this music centre, it has that logo on. And then the bigger set is or an older set. Uh, this is four ohms as well, so if you put an eight ohm speaker on it, then it's, you're not going to get much volume out of it. But it's in mint condition. I think the um, years of um, tobacco um, tar, which it was covered in, kept it in good condition. But um, it's really nice. I really like it. So i um, just got to pop the deck out again and uh, change the head over. And... It's on top of a radiogram. It's a Decker. It's a high-end radiogram. It's stereo, push-pull amplifiers. I haven't yet plugged it in. My dad found it for 30 quid at a boot sale. It's in immaculate condition. The speaker cloths are lovely. And see these here? These enable you to move the tweeter for better stereo imaging. Isn't that cool? Um, Nice Garrard Lab Series deck with a detachable head shell. Screwed down at the minute, but uh, I'm sure that will just need a, a full uh, service and a regrease. Internal light, which I will not be changing to LED. I don't do LEDs, I hate the things. I shall stick with incandescent. There's the um, single play spindle. Just the only thing, just th this trim part on one of the knobs is missing. But it's a VHF unit as well, hence uh, the nine valves. But yeah, lovely condition, really nice. So that's one to do up over the winter. Um, there we go. Oh, I'll just show you my Swan Tees made. It's very orange in here. But this was, I found this in the loft. I moved here about two months ago, and this was mint and box, hadn't been used in the loft. So um, I've pressed that into, uh, into daily service. So there we go. So uh, that's about it for now. Let's go and see how the Philips is doing. Still fine. It's been playing for about an hour now. Both channels. Left channel, right channel. I think I'll just leave it on test and uh, when I finish work, if I finish work uh, in good time tomorrow, I'll probably box it up, clean it up, and set it up. Uh, yeah, I'm not particularly good at doing videos, but um, I enjoy watching uh, other people's videos on uh, YouTube, mainly on uh, vintage electronics. Although um, I've, I've got a hi-fi room, which I'll show you in another video. I like my hi-fi, but I'm not an audiophile. I'm not like stupidly over the top. I still like my vintage equipment and obviously vintage separates as well. Um, but I'm not really into the bespoke 
high-end stuff to be honest with you um, you know so uh, I think also being on the railway as well you know you, you have the noise of a class 66 in your ear holes for 12 hours a day so it's obviously going to take its toll but um, I'll show you my system downstairs later on but yeah this is the workshop in the box room we moved from a lovely big, big Victorian house to this sort of mid 60s build three bedroom um, slowly getting used to the low ceilings and the small rooms but uh, but yeah this room worked out okay it's believe it or not they call it a single bedroom but you put a single bed in there and it's that's it that's uh, yeah that's not a toilet that's actually got some reel to reel tapes in there which need to go downstairs yeah let's quickly have a look at the auto changer again now we're in time I like the mute function on it as well. So when the tone arm lifts, it just it just earths the um, signal cables, just grounds them, so you don't get the pop as it drops the needle on the record. But say this thing, it it it, it gives the crapper phones today a a run for the money. You know, it's it's quality. Although it's not hi-fi, it's quality. And these Philips units really were good. I'm really impressed with it. Really impressed with it. Anyway, folks, that's it for now. That's it for now. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.